Hey there, I want to show you how I like to teach modes. Modes like Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. Today I want to focus on the major modes Ionian, which is also the same as diatonic major, and also Lydian, which is one note different compared to um, or compared with Ionian. So Ionian, um, every mode has a particular whole and half step pattern. So in Ionian, let's say for example we'll take D Ionian, D major. If you play the, the scale, Ionian scale, you have the half steps between three and four and steps seven and one. And one is the same as eight, eight for octave. So all the other intervals if we go stepwise, our whole step. So we go one, two, that was a whole step, three whole step, four is a half step, five, six, seven, here's the next half step. So let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. That would continue, two, three, four, five. And in this position, the way I like to to scales like that, I want to associate these with chord shapes. So this is a D major 7 chord. So when I practice my positions for D Ionian, I like to practice a play of a D major 7 chord that fits right into that pattern. Check this out. I play the chord and go. I go all the way up right back down all the way to the lowest note in that position that's comfortable I also call that position one in the major scales because if you were to play this in C you would be down here and that would be the open position hence position number one but for simplicity's sake we're gonna do all the modes in D so here's D first position second position I like to use uh, either a D major 7 like this or a D major 9th chord. Play the chord. You start on the root now with your middle finger. The top note is the C sharp. That's the 9th fret on the 1st string and right back down. To the lowest note being the G, 3rd fret on the 1st string. So again, to make that a um, continuous thing, play the chord and the scale. Ready, go. One, seven, six, five, four, five, six, seven, one, and the chord again. The next position, I have a major seven like this a basic chord voicing but I actually like to do this kind of a voicing it fits perfectly into the shape that I'm going to show you and this one has the third finger in the root on the tenth fret on the D then the pinky on the eleventh fret on the D string so this is C sharp that's our major seven this is the ninth Here's the major third. So the ninth was on the third string, ninth fret. And the first finger is on the seventh fret, second string. Okay, so I play that and play the scale starting on the root. Ready, go. And back down. And play that chord again. Now for the next voicing, I am going to use this one. So that's the basic first finger root, third finger on the 11th fret, fourth finger on the 11th fret, those are the middle two strings, four and three. And here's your fifth of the chord with the second finger. And I'll play the scale, ready, go. Four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Top note is the E, that's the ninth in the scale. I will post a link to um, 
these scale patterns. I would recommend going one pattern at a time depending on your skill level and knowledge level um, to practice and learn one pattern. Once you have this one down associated with that corresponding chord voicing, then go to the next one, then go to the next one. Once you have the second and third down, go to the fourth one. And then practice always those four that you know or two that you know at a time. Yeah, let's go to the next voicing. This will be the last. So voicing five. So I have the root on the D string. And you can do a bar, mini bar with a third finger or fourth finger, however you like, on the 14th fret. So this is a D major seven voicing. I start this pattern, pattern five, with your middle finger. note happens actually to be a D as well. Um, I like to use this one for the chord voicing though because it fits perfectly within the scale pattern. So let's recap. I'm going to start on the fifth to the fourth to the third, second and third pattern, work our way backwards. I'm going to do this in one go, um, sort of making this um, a goal for you to work towards too. Um, again, recap the Ionian scale, this time in D, with Ionian you have the half steps between steps 3 and 4 and 7 and 1 or 8 if you like. Okay, so I'm going to go chord, ready, go. All the way up and right back down. And back to the root and chord. Okay, pattern 4, chord, 1, 2, ready, go. the chord for pattern three with a third finger on the root chord starting the pattern with the fourth finger one two ready go chord second position middle finger on the root on the D and start to scale with your middle finger ready go and pattern one, fourth finger on the root, one, two, ready, go. And chord. Now I understand, or you should understand that if you don't already know these shapes, again, take your time with the first one. Once that is in your fingers without hesitation and being able to do the chord, scale all the way up, all the way down, back to the root and chord, only then go to the second one. Yeah? Once you got the second one down, play pattern one, pattern two. Once you can do that without hesitation, without tensing up in your shoulders, learn the third one. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the difference to Lydian. And Lydian, just to give you a heads up, is one note different. Okay, We are now placing the half steps not between 3 and 4 and 7 and 1, but between 4 and 5 and 7 and 1. That sounds like this. Do a voicing as such. That's a sharp four texture. But go to the next video to find out how to do Lydian positions.